I'm ready, yes. Please come imminently. Down this building. Fuck off. All my forms are filled out. I'm gonna go to. So you're actually telling me you think Spider Man 3 is the best one? <laughs> you know this. How long have we been dating? I guess long enough to talk about Spider Man 3. Well, come on. Don't, don't the swing sets just put you at ease? I mean, it's pretty. Work? Good guess. You know I hate your job. I mean, you're always on call being a CNA. I don't know. I'll move up one day. I promise. Let's get you home. You live like two minutes away. And that's like a hundred dollars more for an out call, right? It won't matter when you're done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, let me ask you some questions. Uh, reason for suicide. I've already filled out my form. I've got to run over it one more time just to see if you want to abort, okay? Just state regulations. My wife died. I have nothing to live. Ah, uh, just uh, write the first part down. No need for a paragraph. Um, method of suicide. Self-inflicted gunshot wound. Yeah. Isn't it weird that we still write the self-inflicted part? You say that every time. <laughs> Never gets old. Um, last question. Uh, who do we bill this to? My oldest son. Which is Richard, right? Yes. Sign at the bottom. Okay. Um, where is your firearm located? I thought it was furnished. All right. Uh, so uh, just pray or uh, do any of that good stuff and just let me know when uh, you're ready. Uh, do you need a sleep X? Yes, please. <sighs> you good? Here, now take this sleep X pill. Make sure you write down that firearm charge. Oh, can I ask a question about this really fast? I know yes. it's going to interrupt the flow of this. Okay. This killing is my business is business is good. Is that a reference to it's something? It's negative song. Okay, could you do it for me just so it's I know? Yeah, do it. Do it. That's my favorite. Well, sing the hat Go for it. <laughs> I just know the good bass part. Has a... The melody for it. Has a melody for it, yeah. I might have to look it up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's because I, I kept, as I was just running through it, I it's kept made that song. Killing is my business, and business is good. <laughs> like, <I'm running. laughs> that's what I kept telling it. I don't know what this is, so I don't want to get too used to that. One or two takes. We'll yeah. see what's in the movie. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll do a like Elvis version of it for you. A bang. A bang, bang. Now that is how you're supposed to do it. Okay. That's okay. How is it going to be stuck in my head? Heartbeat is not existent. He's dead. Tim, time? Ah, I love that Star Trek reference. Uh, 5.42 a.m. November 29th. Couldn't even wait till 6. You hungry? I know he isn't. Yeah, it, it's on me this time. Oh, thanks, Big Spender. Since I did get it last time. And the last time. Well, I figured I'd be nice. I had like six months till he died. Maybe he could have waited. Oh, but life is so hard. Nobody loves me. Man, shut up and let's move. I don't want to hear from the cleaning crew bitching about this one. It's not too bad. You did a real bang up job. It'd be tough to get the brains out of the floor. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh yeah, will you read Emily's parts too? Yes. Uh, one second. Let me get my. Very. 
Brother Pick, can I get one of those? Hi. <laughs> Targa's gonna laugh his dick off. Oh, hey Targa, hey Drew. Um, I'm gonna be in early this morning, huh? Rise Sorry, and shine. You know, cause he's dead. Rise, <coughs> like a zombie. We got a Mr. Sharp here. Uh, he was scheduled. Well, actually, he wasn't. He was a call-in. You guys are the first of the day, though. Go Team 29. Hey, guys, don't forget the sales meeting today. And remember, look alive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Come immediately. All my forms are filled out. So you're actually telling me you think Spider-Man 3 is the best one? You know this. How long have we been dating? I guess long enough to be talking about Spider-Man 3. Well, come on. Don't the swing sets just put you at ease? I mean, it's pretty... Work? Good guess. You know I hate your job. I mean, why are you always on call being a CNA? I don't know. I'll move up one day, I promise. Let's get you home. Pause. That's not my fault for writing stale dialogue when you say I don't know, kind of improv like I don't know, just, you know, kind of fumble over it. Okay. Because there's an awkward pause there. That's on me. Just kind of. Okay, yeah. This is my first time hearing it out loud. So if you guys see anywhere to improv to kind of make it flow better, I mean, don't go willy nilly with it, but if there's like a pause. Okay. And go back in. You can repeat the last line so we're on the same okay. page. Let's get you home. Uh, you live like two minutes away. You know it's like a hundred dollars more for an alcohol, right? It won't matter when you're done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let me ask you some questions. Oh, on that part, you'll be like, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let me ask you some questions. Uh, reason for suicide. Listen, I've already filled out my form. I've, I've got to run over it one more time just to see if you want to abort. All right, it's state, reg state regulation. My wife died. I have nothing to live. All right, uh, just uh, write down the first part. Uh, no need for a paragraph. Um, uh, method of suicide. Self-inflicted gunshot wound. Pause, if you guys... Don't be scared to do hand motions if you want to. I noticed you're doing them. That's good. Well, I'm just a very expressive person. Yeah, I would like to see um, hand motions because, you know, my camera. Yeah. So if you guys uh, can do them and still deliver them the same, that'd be awesome. It's, your, it's up to your interpretation. And repeat the last line for us. Um, just uh, write down that first part. No need for a paragraph. Uh, method of suicide. Self-inflicted gunshot wound. Ah. Yeah, weird that we still write the self-inflicted part on the form. <laughs> you say that every time. <laughs> I know, it never gets old. Um, last question. Who do we bill this to? My oldest son. Which is Richard, right? No. Correct. Sign at the bottom. Okay, um, where is your firearm located? I thought it was furnished. Okay, um, so, uh, just <laughs> pray, uh, do all that good stuff, and just let me know, um, when you're ready. Uh, do you need a sleep bag? Yes, please. That's actually good because whenever he's praying, like you guys are supposed to be like, kind of like motioning to yourself, making fun of him a little bit. 
I'm supposed to be praying? <laughs> what? All it's, what? I say yes, please. And the, old, the old man bows his head. What do you usually do when you bow your head? You ain't sucking your own dick. <laughs> oh, oh, my fucking bad. Well, um, amen. <laughs> All right. Uh, you good? Yeah. Now, here, take this sleep X pill. And make sure to write down that firearm charge. Okay, I'm killing my business and the business is good. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and how it's gonna be stuck in my head? Heartbeat is non-existent. He's dead. Tim. Time. Uh-huh. Well, that's Star Trek reference. Um, 5.42 a.m. November 29th. Couldn't even wait till 6. Are you hungry? I know I am. Or I know he's not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on me this time. Oh, thanks, Big Spender. Since I did get it last time. And the time before that. Well, I figured I'd be nice. Had like six months till he died. He could have waited. Oh, oh but life is so hard. Nobody loves me. Man, shut up and let's move. I don't want to hear the cleaning crew, the cleaning crew bitching about this one. It's not too bad. Yeah, you did a real bang up job. It's gonna be fucking hard to get the brains out of the floor. This morning, huh? Rise and shine. Ha <laughs> ha! You know, cause he's dead, rise. Like a zombie. Uh, we got a Mr. Sharp here. He was scheduled. Well, actually, he wasn't. He was a calling. You guys are the first th today, though. Go Team 29! Hey, you guys, don't forget the sales meeting today, and remember, look alive. <laughs> Get it? Did you guys hear about the old man who committed suicide this morning, about two blocks from here? He was in here just last night. Weird world, huh? Maybe I should have uh, started off with what to drink. I'm just thinking how weird it is. Diet Coke. A water and a coffee. Okay, I'll be right back. You know, Diet Coke's actually worse for you than Yeah, body prepares for sugar and all that. Better than eating a bowl of it at 6 a.m. Dang it. I didn't know Diet Coke meant so much to you. Let me tell you something. If, if Emily wasn't so weird, I'd already be banging her. She's not weird, really. She's just... She's unique. That's like the same thing, dumbass. Like, plus, you didn't hear her this morning. Actually, he was a walk-in. Like, who the fuck cares? Oh, come Just on. Buzz the thing and let you us You know through. how she is. And weird's like child molester. She's not weird. She's unique. She's like, um... Helen like... Mirren? <laughs> no. No. Uh, she's a tryhard. Uh -huh. I mean, shit, I don't know. Most weird girls are tryhards. And, uh, what to eat for you guys? Um, uh, biscuit, eggs, bacon, sausage, cheese, and, uh, two slices of ham. Ham, son. Um, I guess I'll just have the grilled chicken sandwich. It's 7 a.m. Well, maybe I care about my body, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> grilled chicken sandwich, huh? Texas toast. Real hell. It's better than the fucking red meat parade. Why don't you just ask her out? What? A date? No, I don't want to spend money. You are such an asshole. Just do it. It might be good for you. I don't want to end up like you, frankly. Dating a girl and all worn out every day. Shit, you're worn out every day. Yeah, but mine's from drinking, partying, and generally fucking shit up. Yours is from being a little bitch. 
whatever makes us happy, right? Mm. Just do it. Just ask her to come over for Netflix and chill. That's cheap, right? <laughs> Cost effective is the is the classic term. <laughs> Besides, I don't even have Netflix. It's a garbage ass selection. You're not classy. All right. Uh, they always tell us not to be late, and then he is. All right, guys. Fuck, man. December, and we all know what that means. The beginning of December is in November now. The beginning of December is ten days before Halloween these days. Women in Santa outfits. We go over this every year. The Christmas sale season? Suicides are at the highest rates before Christmas. People getting all lonely and all that. We need to be ready and get our service up there. So everyone, do your best and always take every call. We don't want any attempted suicides now, do we? Uh, also, the awards ceremony will be held on the 20th. I figured this would be a short meeting, considering we do it every year. Any questions? Okay, everyone, remember, future Asia, the future of euthanasia. Now get out there and knock it dead. Oh, and uh, also I'm happy to announce that we will now be providing employee discounts. So uh, Janet, jump on that. Or off it. I don't care. That's a little joke for you. <laughs> Timothy, my boy, we're about to film a new commercial. You want to be in it? Uh, do I get a bonus? Well, of course not. <laughs> well, of course not. I imagine just laughing harder in my head. So you really don't want to be in it? I have to see when I'm free next. I'll, I'll take that as a no. Is that? You know, I'm really busy. I know, I know when I hear one. You guys will just have to make it up to me by making a few extra sales, all right? I got a lot of one. You were in a commercial? Yeah, like five years ago. What if Asia sees it? She hasn't seen it yet. And besides, who has cable anymore? Your dumbass still pays for TV, don't you? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I honestly forgot about it. And knowing Richard's cheap ass, he probably only plays it at like 3 a.m. Does Richard not know the whole Christmas suicide thing is just a myth? I always thought he drew those statistics up himself. He's probably stupid enough to believe it. We all know most people kill themselves around spring or summer. Oh yeah, we all knew that. Why do you think that is? I don't know, maybe they... You know how hot it was gonna be that summer. Well, I've got bad news for him. It's hotter than hell. Hey, I'm not arguing with Richard's made-up charts and graphs. It... The award ceremony has kick-ass food, though. But I'm guessing by your hissy fit, you still haven't told Asia yet. What? No, of course not. She'd be furious. She'd probably even leave me. Is she crazy? I mean, I know all of them are, but like, is she? I don't think so. I mean, she has her moments, but you know we kill people for a living, right? <laughs> we, we don't kill them. We just help them out a little. You get joy out of it, don't you? What? No. I, I, I enjoy helping people. That's all. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever. By the way, she wants to meet you. We have met. We went to high school together. And plus, no, I'm not being third wheel. None of us were even friends then, and you're not. Emily's gonna be there. Yeah, no. I'm not having her loud, obnoxious ass in public. No. <laughs> not even in bed. Just don't mention where we work, okay? Who said I'm going? I did. We're getting a call, by the way, so answer it. Oh, man, you're gonna love this. Remember Chris Knight? I am saying. I would say that was a huge improvement on the first one, just right there. <laughs>